CTrader Algo is developed using .NET 6.0. One of the major benefits using .NET 6.0 is the option to use third-party libraries built using .NET 6.0 to expand the capabilities of your CBOT. In this video we will demonstrate how you can reference third-party libraries inside a CTrader CBOT. We will develop an example of how you can send messages to a Discord channel using the Discord.net library. Let's switch to CAlgo and create a CBOT named Discord Message Example. In our example, we will install a package from the NuGet library. NuGet is a package manager, primarily used for packaging and distributing software written using .NET and the .NET framework. You can access all packages available on NuGet through the NuGet.org website. Here you can search for the appropriate package for you and get the CLI installation command. Let's search for Discord and find the Discord.NET library. We will copy the package manager command and open our CBOT in Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, we will locate the package manager console and execute our command. Now that our package has been installed successfully, we can start developing our example. First we will declare some necessary parameters. We will need our Discord channel token and channel ID. Then we will declare a Discord client object and a message channel object. In our onStart method, we will write some simple code to send a message to our channel when the CBOT starts. Let's build our CBOT and add an instance. In our instance we will set our toke and channel ID. Let's run the instance and see the messages arriving to our channel. At this point, it's worth mentioning that not all libraries are available through a NuGet package. Therefore sometimes you will need to reference a library through directly adding the DLL file as a reference. Let's switch back to Visual Studio and uninstall the Discord.net library. We can rebuild our CBOT and see that the compilation will end with several error messages due to the missing libraries. Now let's switch to CTrader and add the needed libraries manually using the Add Reference feature of CTrader. We will navigate to a folder containing our DLL file and add the reference manually. Let's build again and see how our CBOT builds successfully now. In this video we have demonstrated how to reference third-party libraries in your CTrader project. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.